All right, thank you for joining me here at Tootsie Tarot. I am going to do a weekly check-in for you for our Virgos. Let's take a look at Virgo and see where we're at. Maybe you have Virgo in your birth chart, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Um, any... Nevertheless, if this has brought you in here, you're here for a reason. Only take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. Don't force the energy, don't force the square into a circle. Alright, so we'll take a look at your general energy, see what advice the universe has for you. Let's get into it. Price for Virgo, show me Virgo. It's going to energize Virgo this week. First week of October. What's going to energize Virgo this week? Thank you. Ten of Wands. I have some burdens here. Heavy burdens, responsibilities, duties. Um, a lot weighing on your shoulders this week, Virgo. Alright. Where does Virgo need more grace? Where does Virgo need more grace? Death rebirth. Um, a change, a transition, a new beginning, the end of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle is where you may need more grace. Um, slowing down more a little bit. And what do you need to take a closer look at, Virgo? What do you need to take a closer look at here? Take a closer look at the sun. Take a closer look at your wish fulfillments, what it is you think you desire, you want and request from the universe. What is your wish fulfillment here, Virgo? Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. Um, overall energy, cutting off, right? Um, ending friendship cycles. Um, Queen of Swords is strong, authoritative. Um, she is swift with the blade, swift with the sword. So overall energy is in, is in regards to the burdens you carry your new beginnings and your wish fulfillments. So this could be a heavy reading for you. Let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to pull another deck. All right. All right. I got you, Virgo. Let's see what is ahead for you. What advice do we have for you? Show me Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands for Virgo. Thank you. All right. Dropped about five cards. Let's try that again. Show me the Ten of Wands, please. Queen of Swords again. Queen of Swords again. It's the overall energy of the deck. Um, Queen of Swords, Three of Wands. Waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for your ships to come in. And... Again, slashing and cutting prices here with the Queen of Swords. Um, so there's not a lot of forgiveness here with the Queen of Swords. Um, she shows her power. She shows her authority, right? Um, she is in control. She is commander. And I'm showing you, Virgo, taking control of some of the burdens, dropping some of the burdens, cutting some of the burdens out of your life and waiting on your new ships to come in, waiting on this rebirth after you relinquish and release some of this stress, some of this, um, some of the things that are causing anxiety and stress on you. All right, show me rebirth, show me death, rebirth. Three of Cups, celebration, union, can be gossip messages. All right, so it's like celebration is what I'm showing for you. Give me one more for rebirth. Three cups, please. Show me three cups, rebirth. Three cups, rebirth for Virgo, please. Or is Virgo need more grace? Three of cups, rebirth. Show me Virgo where they need more grace, please. Thank you.
the devil. Um, so there's a new start here. Um, there is a new start. I feel like this rebirth here is manifested from um, possibly some negative manipulative energy. Um, it could be people around you. It could be your energy. Currently, I do show you in the Ten of Wands right now, that is low vibration energy, feeling heavy burden, feeling heavy stress, um, worry, anxiety, fear. Um, that is devil energy. So we'll go ahead and clarify and see what's going on. But I do show this rebirth, this new start, this new cycle, the end of a cycle and beginning of a new cycle. Um, I do show you celebrating. I do show you may need more grace with celebrating and possibly with the people in your environment. I do get a sense of addiction, manipulation, um, and deceit. Show me the sun. Show me the sun. Where to take a closer look at for Virgo. These are your wish fulfillments, your desires, what you want um, to be true for you, to be current, changes that you want in life. Show me the sun. Um, where does Virgo... Thank you. Where does Virgo need to take a closer look at? Seven of Wands. Ten of Swords again. And the Queen of Wands. All right. It's your third queen. So... With the sun, this is where you need to take a, 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 another look. Seven of Wands is defensive energy, right? Um, it's defensive. It is... It's, it's just defensive energy. Um, again, another devil, devil energy. That's not high vibrational energy. So um, if you're defensive about things, maybe um, you find yourself defending yourself, something you did, said, feel... Um, I feel like you're defending yourself, Virgo, with this Ten of Swords. Like you are in pain. You have heavy burden, right? These This heavy burden, these stresses, anxieties, things that have you worried, staying up late at night. Um, I do feel a little stabbage in the back here, uh, possibly by the people around you, possibly by this devil energy here causing this rebirth for you. And I do get that the... I feel like you're defensive about pain or um, about a situation that occurred. And with the Queen of Wands, this is giving me um, it, it, it's feminine energy. It's authority. It is someone who like makes the rules, makes the laws. Um, and if, if someone in a sense of authority figure to you that um, is in their feminine energy. Now, this doesn't have to be a female. It can be male Gender roles don't apply here, so feel free to switch the roles. It's just feminine energy. Men can be in their feminine energy. But I do feel as though this is someone in their feminine energy um, stating the roles and the laws for you. All right, bottom of the deck for you, Ten of Pentacles. It's abundance. Um, showing the overall reason for this new change, this new cycle, the new beginning. Um is, is, is for the Ten of Pentacles. This is for a financial change. This is for um, financial abundance. This is for changes in the home situation. So I understand why the Queen of Swords energy is here. I do feel as though you're making changes to redirect your life and to change the direction here. Hopefully we can get you, um, pull you a Wheel of Fortune card and just go ahead and confirm that this direction is going to change for you. And things will be in a new perspective. All right, I'll go ahead and clarify for you. Let's get some advice. Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords, ships coming in. Oh, way too many. Way too many. Didn't get the question out. <laughs> All right, spirit, work with me here. All right, ten, uh, Queen of Swords, Three of Wands, Ten of Wands. We have burden, we have Queen energy, and we have waiting for our ships to come in, waiting for the abundance of this Ten Pentacles. It's coming. I do see it's coming due to this change. <clears throat> what actions does Virgo need to take? <clears throat> Advice for Virgo, what actions to take, please? All 
What actions to take against the Ten of Wands, burden, weight, stress? Thank you. The Emperor. The Emperor. All right, this is protection, stability, power, aid, a great person, conviction, reason, right? They're compassionate. Um, they offer confusion to enemies. And um, with this energy, I'm just, I, Spirit's advising you to kind of boss up, right? Um, elevate your energy, ascend vibrate higher, less negative, um, less worry about the weight of the stress and the um, burdens, less worry about that and more focus on the sun, the wish fulfillment, the pentacles, the change, the new direction, the celebration, right? You have to pull yourself out of this devil energy, pull yourself away from this negative people, this negative energy here, this queen of wands here, this burger queen. All right. Um, Stay positive. Do not let energies lower your vibration. Don't let them um, stoop to a lower level, right? Um, we have the rebirth, three of cups, double energy. What does Virgo need to do? Uh, what action does Virgo take um, to have this? Thank you, Page of Swords. Page of Swords is young energy. It is youthful. Um, it means authority, overseeing, secret service, vigilance, spying, examination and the qualities um to be belonging right um they belong somewhere they belong to a a group a community they're important they're valued um so for the rebirth card clarified by three of cups and the devil spirits advising you to acknowledge your self-worth acknowledge and be self-aware know who you are and don't allow people to drag you out of your positive space don't let people tell you who you are what you are what to do who to do you know what to say um you are your own person you are authority you uh, you have authority you have power um raise your vibration know who you are know your worth right maybe you need to do a, a regain your balance right? A little rejuvenation, um, a little bit of self-love. All right. Show me the sun, please. Seven of wands, ten of swords, queen of wands. What action does Virgo need to take here to enjoy the hot, steamy sun? Please advise Virgo to get their sun and their ten pentacles. What action does Virgo take? Advice for Virgo, please. Thank you. Ten of Pentacles again. All right, Ten of Pentacles. Um, it means gains, riches, family matters, extraction, right? Um, the mass of a family. All right. Um, same picture. All right, this is family abundance, uh, abundance of family matters. Right. Um, that's love, sharing, caring, intuition, compassion, empathy. Right. Um, family energy, family love, community love. Um, find your soul tribe, find your soul community and engulf yourself in positive energy. Um, whoever this negative energy is around you, I think you need. Oh, wow. Bottom of the deck, the sun. Yes. All right. Love it when the cards just confirm what I'm saying to you. All right, so that's my advice for you. Um, let go of the negative energy. We have this Queen of Swords here. That's what you need to cut, this Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords is going to cut out the Queen of Wands, this negative naysayer, this negative authoritative feminine energy. All right, Ergo, I want to know what's going on with you in your love life. We're going to take a deep dive. Let's pull some Twin Flame Oracle for you, all right? My last reading for you, Virgo, and your twin flame soulmate soul cycle. Um, things were looking up. I was sensing power couple vibes. I'd like to do a check in, see where we're at. Give it to me. All right, all right, all right. 
<laughs> All right. Anyhow. All right. Show me Virgo. Hidden path, Virgo. Detour, slow down, explore, go in a new direction. That's your energy right now. This is you, Virgo. You're making moves. You're changing your direction. All right, you have a new a rebirth. You have the death card. It's a rebirth. Change of a cycle, end of a cycle, beginning of a new. New opportunities, new offers. Show me your soulmate. Crossroads. Divergent paths, choices, confusion. Follow your intuition. Um, show me advice for the two of you advice for the relationship please advice for the relationship thank you runner escape from emotion and confusion on the run um, so one of you are not in your one of you are in your bag, one of you are in your feelings, and are running away from your emotions, escaping the emotional confusion, escaping the relationship, perhaps. Bottom of the deck is Ascend. Expansion, evolution, universal intelligence. Stay connected to spirit. All right. So, let's pull some tarot for your twin flame soulmate. Love cycle. Get you some advice, some insights, some messages from Spirit Guide. Oh, Tootsie, Tootsie, get it together. <laughs> All right. Virgo, detour, slow down, explore, go in a new direction. Advice for this hidden path for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know about the hidden path and the new direction? Advice for Virgo, hidden path, new direction. Um, maybe you're looking in another direction, Virgo, instead of this twin flame soulmate you have that we were reading about in the last week. All right, um, maybe you have a new offer from a new energy. You do. Look at that, Ace of Wands. Take action on your ideas. New project, inspiration, the urge to create, willpower, desire, power, potential, beginnings, new opportunities, growth. One more. Ace of Wands, hidden path. Um, what does Virgo need to know? Thank you. The chariot, quick movement, things are happening fast for you. Your success in the face of difficulty. That's movement, progress, action, integration, determination, willpower, control, direction, departure, courage, victory, a journey. So a hidden path, Ace of Wands, new project. I feel like um, new things are happening for you. I don't know if it's a new job, a new place, a new city, um, a new person, a new twin flame. But I show offers are coming in, opportunities are coming in, and decisions and actions are going to take place quickly. Show me crossroads for their soulmate. What's the soulmate going through? Show me the crossroads for the soulmate. What does Virgo need to know? Knight of Swords. Swift movement too. You're strong and full of energy, ready to take on the world, soulmate. Ambitious, fast thinking, action oriented, brave, driven to succeed. Defending beliefs and truth seeking. So your person. So let's see what else we have for you here. Knight of Swords. Um, 
I feel like your person is a quick thinker. They're um, sort of, um, they're able to keep up with you here, Virgo. I don't know if this movement is going to include your twin flame soulmate here. Um, considering this runner here, I don't know if you're the runner running away. Yeah, we have a tower. Um, your new opportunity, Virgo, your rebirth new cycle is going to put your soulmate in a tower what that means is it's a sudden change upheaval chaos they're going to have a revelation feel like they're in a disaster they're going to have a new awakening um and a release and a sudden insight always expect the unexpected and they're not going to be expecting this all right um advice for the two of you runner show me runner here Yeah. And they're going to be up late night about it. It's going to keep them up. Anxiety, worry, fear, depression, nightmares, insomnia, hopelessness, trauma, despair. Worrying can get out of control, but it changes nothing. I, I, feel, I fear you're still moving. King of Wands. You're still moving here with this chariot card. Making moves, moving, changing directions, jobs, apartments, um, twin flames, right? Something's changing here. King of Wands, Burger King. You're going to have it your way. So you're the runner here. You're the runner here, Virgo. Natural leader, visionary, entrepreneur, a big picture seer, a leader. You overcome challenges. You're mature, career focused. You have the dynamic energy of a leader here. All right. The Empress. You can do anything you want and be happy with the results. That's what I'm showing for you. Um, Empress is abundant energy. It's nurturing for t uh, fertile feminine energy, good parenting, development, accomplishments, growth, evolution, and action. This is you right now. You have excelled, right? I show you excelling from this double energy, from, from the energy this person put you in, um, this negative queen of wands, right? This bossy person. Um, the energy that they're taking from you, you're going to boss up and pull it together with this Empress energy and this King of Wands. All right. Quick movement happening fast here. All right. Quick movement here. Um, Six of Wands is victory. It's public recognition. It's a reward. Progress, self-confidence, good news, good fortune, achievement, promotion. You've earned every one of your successes. All right. Um. bottom of the deck ten of cups baby that's the wish fulfillment could be just as perfect as the sun it's divine love harmony blissful relationship inner happiness fulfillment dreams come true family contentment everything you have planned has worked out life is good all right life and love is good so virgo i feel I feel the hidden path in your twin frame flame relationship is because of the burdens you're dealing with in life. All right. You're going to king of swords energy, boss up, cut people off, wait on your ships to come in because you are now elevated. We have the emperor. We have the empress. This is you. All right. Emperor, empress, you're elevating your energy. You're ascending. You're vibrating high. You have wish fulfillments. You're manifesting them to reality to bring them to fruition. Why? Why did you ask? Because you're changing. You don't want this burden down here, this ten of swords, this this ten of wands. You want to restart. You want to push over, a do-over. Um, so we have a rebirth, a death card. It's the death of a cycle, the end of a cycle. It's the end of this pain, this anxiety, this fear, this worry. It's the end of this devil energy. It's the end of you being manipulated. It's the end of you feeling inferior. Page of, page of Swords. Page of Swords. This is you bossing up. This is you finding the authority in yourself. Um, this is you getting sick of being um, bullied and uh, pushed around and uh, people trying to intimidate you. And you're about to come together. You're about to pull it together with support, family, friends, love. Why do I say love? Well, because your twin flame's at a crossroads. Your twin flame is about to have a tower moment. 
probably because of your rebirth, probably because your fast movement. So they're going to have to move and catch up or they're going to be up late at night full of the anxiety, worry, fear that you just let go of. All right. Overall outcome advice for the relationship. You're, 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 you have pentacles in abundance on the way. You're making this change for family, for life, for love. You're making your change for the right reasons. All right. So you're going to do it your way with the king of wands. You're going to provide love, um, good parenting, development, growth, action and accomplishment for your family. And that's going to happen quickly for you. Good fortune, achievement, promotion, bottom of the deck, 10 cups. Those 10 cups are filled with love, caring, sharing, um, kisses, right? It's filled with abundance, work, reward. Um, I will pull advice for you. Let's pull tarot. Not tarot. Not tarot. Not tarot. Pull some oracle for you. not pick nothing up today <laughs> all right Virgo advice for Virgo please overall advice messages from spirit messages from the universe please what does Virgo need to know advice for Virgo please advice for Virgo thank you <clears throat> advice for you Virgo is nostalgia focus on here and now um you can always reflect on the past, but focus on the here and now. Focus on where you want to be, where you're going. Um, life is too short to live in the rear view mirror, okay? You cannot drive forward looking behind you. You're going to crash. All right. You're going to crash. So focus on the here and now. Advice for Virgo. Which justice is coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to get your justice here. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Justice is coming. Oh, and her name is Karma. Yes. Red, forgive. Let it go. Let the universe deal with it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Um... Whatever's happening with this negative um, Queen of Wands energy here, let it go. Um, cut people off, fine. Cut them out of your energy. Don't stoop down to someone else's energy. Do not um, do not lower your vibration to make a point to get revenge, to get justice. Justice is coming. Karma is coming. Um, your abundance is coming. I see this change within the next very soon within the next few days or the next week or so very very soon um you can always rewrite the story it's not what people say so that's my advice for you if this resonates with you please like share subscribe hit the notifications button don't miss out um tell your friends it's a new channel i just started doing these recordings and posting them on youtube follow me on tiktok twitter and facebook thank you for your support blessed be